Marie. 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 Or turn this into something more. So, what's up guys? Uh, Pragmatic Addict here, back with another review. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded a video. My last video was my top 10 most anticipated films of 2021. And number 10 on that list was Malcolm and Marie. This movie came out yesterday, and it focuses on a filmmaker, played by John David Washington, and his girlfriend, played by Zendaya, who are coming home from his movie from premiere, and when they get home, shit hits the fan about their relationship. We see a lot of uh, things unfolding as the movie goes on about where this conversation started, where this fight started, where it goes to, and all the things that lead to it. This movie was something I was really looking forward to because, for a lot of reasons, it was the first film that was actually shot and completed in the pandemic. Another thing that was really uh, interesting to me about this film was how it was shot. I, from watching that trailer, I was like, okay, so this couple's coming home from this from the boyfriend's uh, movie premiere, and the whole movie is set in this house throughout the night, you know, starting at like 1 a.m. when they get home, to whatever time, er early in the morning, of just events just spiraling and just things surfacing and just toxicity and negative negativity. It's, 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 it's a film that, you know, again, the way it was shot, the way it looked, the way that the atmosphere was, I was like, okay, so this is a very isolated film. This is a very personal film. This is a very close film. And in my last review um, was uh, Pieces of a Woman. Um, I, don't believe it, I don't believe it was that video, but I, I believe it was an anticipated one where I, I was saying that I'm very drawn to harsh dramas, very cynical dramas, very fucked up dramas, very personal and very mature and very just absurd dramas, dramas that people don't want to watch, don't want to hear about, but I feel, you know, maybe should. One thing I can say about this film is I, I, I was kind of more or less turned on or turned off by the way it started. It's, it's a beautiful looking film, even from the opening shot, it's just like, wow. Gorgeous movie. But one thing I didn't know about this film uh, going into it is where the actual film took place. Like, what point in time? And about, you know, maybe, I, I, I want to say 15 minutes in, I, I was like, okay, well, this film is set in modern time. They're making references to recent movies that came out. They're having product around the house that is of this time. This film is set in this day and age. So I didn't really understand the cinematography. Don't get me wrong, it was a beautiful, you know, looking film. But I just didn't get the cinematography. It just felt like it was not not necessarily a cash grab, because you know that that could more or less you know grab people or put them put them put them off. But for me personally, that was one thing that really grabbed me about this film is it just looked so different. It looked authentic. It looked like like a, like a film that you know really cared about its craft. And, and watching this movie, the more that it went on, the more I was just like, you could have just shot this in color. I'm not going to say that it, that it didn't do much for the film, because that was one thing, is like, the, again, the film is beautiful. If there was something I didn't really care for that was going on in the movie, I wanted to see it happen because it was just, it was it was capturing for the eyes. Not only that, but not only not only did I did I feel like the movie didn't really need the black and white, it was, nice, it was a nice feature shot, but it didn't really need it, but... This is a movie I feel like could have been told in a few minutes. So again, this is a movie uh, starring John David Washington and Zedaya. He plays a filmmaker. They come home from a premiere. They're a couple. And then they just start, you know, going at each other's heads. One thing I liked about this movie is that I, I could relate to it. I don't know if I would necessarily say that this is a toxic relationship, but there is a lot of drama. There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of depth to this relationship. It's not necessarily that they hate each other, that they don't care about each other. It's, or maybe they're, you know, not meant to be with each other. It's just, there's so much drama and there's so much past shit that gets involved that, you know, may not make sense at first or may just be like, why are you bringing this shit up? Just go to bed. It really does play into the story, not just because, you know, this does feel like a toxic relationship or whatever you want to call it. It, it does feel like that. And from somebody going through, you know, those times, I got this movie. There's a lot of things in this movie. There's a lot of ranting. There's a lot of drawn out scenes. Again, this movie could have been, you know, told in a few minutes. It's about a fight. It's about a night where people just, this couple just does not 
you know, is, are not connecting. So because of the story, I think I think part per, to me personally, really quickly, I think the story is what really captured me. I mean, he's a filmmaker. He writes this fucked up movie. He comes home and you know, you see how Zendaya's character reacts to it and why John David Washington has feelings about the movie and about the release of it that are, you know, fucking with him. Again, I'm not trying to make this about me, but as a filmmaker who is releasing a movie about, you know, trauma, a very rough movie, you know, there's scenes in the movie where Zendaya's like, you know, I, I understand that this, you know, took forever to make for you and it was hard to make, but blah, 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 you know, talking about reviews and how John David Washington is reacting to them and, you know, everything from, you know, the release to it to things that were happening on set and even before production of this movie. I kind of get that. And I kind of, you know, it was in not necessarily inspired by this movie, but there were things in this movie where I'm like, I get that. I, I feel you. I, I, I felt both of these characters. I, I sided with Zendaya on some things, and I sided with John David Washington. I got a lot of these characters. And that and, and that is one thing that captured me, is that not only am I drawn to these kind of movies, these kind of subject material, but this specific plot, this premise, yeah, dude, I was on board. You know, yeah, I, I, I got it. That is the most that you will take from this movie. Besides the acting, which is flawless, specifically Zendaya, she knocks this film out of the park. And there are a lot of things that John David Washington does really, really well too, but the only thing with John David Washington's character is that there are scenes, and I shit you not, there are like 15 minute scenes where he just rants. It's a lot of talking. It's a lot of fast talking. Sometimes it's one shot, but there's a lot of ranting. This film was exhausting to sit through. And, I, and, and yes, you know, I feel like the movie is, it was going for that, you know? This is a movie depicting a toxic night. An unhinged, negative, you know, most blown out fight that this couple has had. That is what this movie is about. The worst fight that this couple has had in their relationship. And everything that, that leads up to it and how it escalates and what the whole overall, you know, roots of it are. So I, I think overall, it, it is an interesting idea. I think that the acting is very good as well for what it is. I think it's a beautiful looking movie, but again, yeah. And I don't just don't mean one time. There are multiple, a few times at least, where John David Washington specifically is just and just ranting. There, there's like a whole 20 minute scene where he's talking about like political aspects of like a white critic looking at a, a, a movie made from a black man. And it's just, it's like, this happens so many times and not just that specific issue, but John David Washington has this, this character, this persona. And I don't know if this is exactly how it was meant to be, but coming from somebody who, you know, like me, who, you know, does, you know, who is a writer and, 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 and kind of gets his story to an extent. I get why he rants the way he does and why he, you know, prolongs so many different conversations and just babbles on and gets lost in it. But watching that from another person's perspective, I'm like, I hope I'm not that bad. It was just exhausting. It was very drawn out. I feel like the movie could have, you know, been made in, you know, a third or, or way less of what it actually was. It has enough to cover itself and has enough to make for a plot and for a story and for a film that could be good. There's just so much shit that was drawn out and not even, you know, the necessary shit, just shit where it was just like, you're pissed off and you're ranting about something that at this point we don't even want to hear about anymore. Like we get it, but don't make that the center of, you know, what this film is. And for the most part, I feel like half this movie could have been, you know, at the very least, at least minimized, and more could have been there to tell. There could have been more of a conclusion, there could have been more of a study of these characters other than them just, you know, going at each other's throats and, you know, being bipolar, and this is a very exhausting movie. Again, I, I got the movie. For the most part, I did enjoy it. I think it's well acted, well shot, I think it has an interesting idea, and there's a lot about this movie where, it, you know, I, I was lost in it, in a good way. But there was just so much drawn out about it that didn't feel necessary, and there could have been much more of a story to tell. So overall, I'm going to give Malcolm and Marie a 6.7 out of 10. Guys, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've uh, dropped, a vi dropped a video, but Judas and the Black Messiah comes out the 12th. Cherry with uh, Tom Holland comes out again this month. I can't fucking wait for that. This is going to be a busy month. Plus... St. Maude, February 12th. Two years we've been waiting for this movie. Two weeks ago, we got the announcement that it's coming out in two weeks. I'm gonna be a very busy dude. 
I'm gonna be dropping a review for Cherry and Say Mod for sure. Maybe Judas and the Black Messiah, we'll see. I have a lot of uh, videos coming, specifically this month. It's busy, but you know, you guys will be seeing me very soon. I will see you guys very soon, and let me know what you guys thought of Malcolm and Marie. Take care, guys. Have a good day.